So what you guys just heard. Personally, I don't think there is a better sound in gaming history. The M1 Garand ping is just... It's chef's kiss. It's one of the best sounds you can have in a video game. Today we are going to be using the M1 Garand. It is going to be the first time I have touched it willingly at least. There might be a few kills I have just by picking it up. But before we hop into that, I want to thank you guys for the support here. I also want to ask you guys to please subscribe to the channel. Hit that bell notification so you never miss an upload. As we post every day and a lot of it is Call of Duty content. Leave a like if you want to help. Comment if there's something you want to see me do. Because today's video was actually a suggestion from the comments. And if you want to help out to the maximum amount, share this video with a friend. Get more eyes on what we're doing here. Trying to work towards 2,000 subscribers, ideally by the end of the year, but without wasting any more time, let's see what the M1 Grand has to offer us. And as I suspected, like I said in the intro, I have never used this gun. I have zero kills with the M1 Garand. And for those of you triggered by me calling it the M1 Garand, even though I called it both in the intro, the dude's name was John Garand. So by association with the guy who invented the weapon, it is the M1 Garand. And I'm going to keep saying it that way to trigger people and potentially get some comments. Because, you know, the old algorithm loves when people comment stuff. And since I have no attachments for it, I can actually see its base stats without anything being impacted. So its base damage is 60, so it's it's a two-shot kill and its vital damage is 90, which means it does not do a one-shot kill. I'm assuming there's an attachment that changes that. We'll get to that eventually, but it is a two-shot kill right now. Eight rounds to a magazine. It's not looking like it's going to be a fun few first times. However, but while we are searching for a match, I want to take this time to actually like properly thank you guys that continue to support me and watch these videos every day because I know you guys can watch literally anybody on this platform. You can watch literally anybody on Twitch, but you choose to be here and help me accomplish what I'm trying to work towards, my goals, things I want to do in life, and I just appreciate that more than I can really show in like a YouTube video or my face cam and I take up like less than a tenth of my screen because a lot of people don't really understand what it takes to make like a YouTube video like this because all the people really see is like a 10 to 12 minute YouTube video with me talking mainly they don't understand the amount of time behind the scenes that actually goes into that like just wanted to thank you guys because it does mean a lot to me and like if I end up succeeding the people around me are also going to succeed because I'm gonna bring all my homies with me because like what did Jay-Z say now I live on billboards and I brought my boys with me I do not want to play this damn away this match bro quit putting me here and here we go i have not played at all today so i'm really hoping like i don't have dumb dumb thumbs right now this gun's stray speed is abysmal i need that to change as soon as possible and there is my first documented kill with the m1 garand there's the ping hopefully this gun bodes the same way the uh the g43 did because i really had a fun time using the g43 whenever it was a single shot gun it's just super satisfying to two-tap people, and I hope that trend continues because while this gun's magazine sucks a lot, and it actually has a lot of kick compared to the G43, I just want to be able to have fun playing this game and shit like this because I'm just running around two-tapping people. This has got to be super trolly for people. People get real upset whenever you kill them with guns that aren't like meta weapons in this game. I also don't want to be super spammy with it. I'd love to be precise with it, but we will see. Bro, imagine. Bloodthirsty? The stupid fucking guard dog. This gun's strafe speed is abysmal, bro. The fuck are you, Ego Challenge, dude? I remember there was a glitch with this gun whenever uh, the game first came out. Um, uh, whenever you would manually reload the gun whenever it didn't have an empty magazine, it would still make the ping sound. I guess we'll find out if that's fixed with, like, the actual big magazines. Two tap. Of course, it doesn't help when there's multiple people, because like I said, eight rounds to a magazine, two shots to kill, the most kills I can get at one time is four. And that is assuming I hit every shot. It is just super satisfying to two tap people, bro. I do not know how I killed that guy. Where are the enemies spawning? Like, I was hoping Domination would have more set spawn points than, like, Hardpoint. And, like, that's the case sometimes. How did I miss... Every shot on that guy. Alright, here's the point in the game where I start getting shot in the back and lose my mind. I don't want to get shot in the back. I hit that guy four times. Nice. Okay, go on. I don't know where they're spawning. They got dogs! Get the hell out of here. How, why? Who gave them dogs, bro? Dude, my teammates just have no concept of, like, shooting the dogs. Now, YouTube, I know that sentence sounded bad. It's in the context of the video game. We really need these dogs to not attack us. They got more dogs. Dude, like, somebody kill the fucking guy. 
Like, dead ass. I promise the person on the other team getting dogs is not that good. I mean, first game with it ever, 52 and 30, not terrible. Could have been a better game if my teammates, like, you know, didn't let the guy get two sets of dogs. So let me see. What did that actually unlock for us with the M1 Garand? Got a muzzle device that helps with that. Put on the stabilizer. Got the big magazine. That does not help us yet. Looks like we get the 16 round drum mag at level 20. That might help us. Put on the pine tar grip. Get some recoil back. FMJ because it's all I have. I don't like this optic, but I'll put it on because it's better than the iron sights. Actually, you know what? I'm dumb. There's no horizontal recoil. There's no reason to use the stabilizer. So let's use the silencer. Let's use our brains. That's good. Domination. Protect the objective. Steal yourselves. This will not be for the faint. That's enough radar for today. Spawned in, took two steps dead. Yeah, I'm over it. <laughs> let's play a different map. All right, let's see what Numa Numa has to offer us. At least it's not radar. I don't really know. There's not a lot of maps going on right now where, like, people actually are... Let me rephrase that, because that's not what I'm trying to say at all. The maps that are happening right now, and most of the games I'm getting put into, are, like, completely over, and, like, the other team is fully streaked out. And that just goes back to, like, my biggest issue with, like, matchmaking in this game is that everything is just insanely boring. Because, like, I don't have control over, like, anything that happens. Serious question is... Having a silencer on this thing actually matter if it makes the loud ass ping noise? Like in theory, no, right? Oh, I'm too up? I'm nasty. Oh, damn. The slow octane gameplay with the fucking M1 Garen, bro. Got the leather group. I don't know what that one does. I hit that guy. Cool. Sure, whatever. I'm learning to like Gabu 2 a little bit better. I still don't think it's that good of a map, honestly, but I've learned at least how to play it now and, like, what guns work on it and what guns don't work on it. Surprisingly, not that bad of a map for sniping, all things considered. There are some pretty gnarly spawn traps on this map, if you guys didn't realize from the clips I fit on this map using snipers. And I feel like it'll work decently with the M1 Garand as long as I just keep my distance. However, I feel like that's not going to be a thing because I feel like the enemies are going to start spawning on me. And, of course, they spawned on me. I mean, I shouldn't have moved from my perch. Kind of on me, but let's get the M1 Garand in the competitive meta, yeah? It's like, that's not gonna happen. This gun, this gun's not competing with the automaton. I had to spam it. I need to take off this stock still. I forgot I said I wanted to do that. I also forgot I said I wanted to take off the death machine. Like, that was forever ago, too. Uh, and that's where the M1 Garand does not shine. It loses to literally any gun if they get first shot and you miss. This gun is so goofy with a silencer. You literally just run around fucking like sneezing on people when they die. <laughs> Alright. Shit on loser? Get better at the game? Idiot! No, I'm gonna die. Please stop shooting me. I got pinched. I, that's that's Numa Numa. Like, even if I learn how to play this game, it's still Numa Numa. I'm still going to die for dumb reasons. Can I please climb over this wall? Holy shit. I'm shooting that- I don't want to talk about it if you don't want to talk about it. I have no idea what just happened. That stupid elf is chasing me. Or around me, laughing at me. Please don't laugh at me. My friends do that enough in Discord calls already. There's that dude. Where are the where's the rest of the team? They have a full team. Okay, there's that guy. Oh, I see. They're playing like pussies. Nothing quite as fun as that whenever I'm using a fucking M1 Garand and I'm limited on literally basically everything I can do and the enemy team is not moving because they are scared. Bro, this stock is just not the play. I need to take it off. I keep saying that. It's so slow. Ooh, that seemed, that seemed like I shouldn't have got that kill. Ooh, that guy snapped on me. I can't even be upset. I mean, I can be upset. I probably am upset a little bit, but hello. Thank you. Some dude over there. There's a guy right here. Holy shit, bro. GG tryhard. Homie, you're not trying that hard if I'm out fragging you with a M1 Garand. I hate to be that guy, but if I am outperforming you with this gun, you're just not that good at the game. Snake the sniper out, frag him. Sorry, bro, you died off spawn. Not that upset, to be honest. That guy killed me because he shot me through a bush that I could not shoot through. 
This gun basically two taps at any distance. This is so fun, yet so not fun at the same time. It's fun because it's such a trolly gun and I guarantee I'm pissing off the other team with what I'm doing. But at the same time, man, like, I would be doing so much better with literally any other gun in the game. This tryhard guy sucks. Homie, if you're gonna make your name something like that, at least be fucking good at the game. Stop wasting my time. I went 65 and 17 using the M1 Garen. I almost top fragged, but this guy right below me got three more elims than me, and I'm not gonna say his name because it's a bad name. Or at least it's not TOS friendly for YouTube. So those two-ish matches with double XP got us to level 23, so... Expect the next video to be another M1 Garand video. I don't know if it's going to be the class setup video. I don't know how much I'm going to grind the next few days if I want to level it up like that. There is going to be a class setup video on this weapon at some point. I just don't know if it's going to be tomorrow's video. I don't know how much I'm going to play going into tomorrow. So, but I hope you guys have enjoyed the video. I hope you guys continue to come back and support me because I appreciate everything you do. Remember, don't leave without leaving a like. Don't leave without subscribing. Trying to work towards 2000 by the end of the year if possible. I think we can do it. Have a great day after this video ends and I'll talk to you guys in the next video. Peace.